And it's great to see John Schneider back, his manager, who still does throw batting practice to the Blue Jays. And not only does he throw batting practice for the Blue Jays, he's not even in the all-star coaching staff. Usually they take not only the Astro coaches, but also a few others. He came strictly to Seattle for this. So he's got his mates here. He's got Bo Bichette. He's got Whit Merrifield. They're all waiting. Jordan Romano waiting to see this guy start to get on track. You hear in the background, relájate, cálmate. And that actually is Javier Bracamonte, who is the bullpen catcher for the Houston Astros. He's actually catching back there and coaching Gladdy through this. Mm, there's a high, high drive to left field, and that one gets to the second deck. So three on the board for Vlad to start. Oh, Likely number four. And very unlike Vladdy. Vladdy's hitting a lot of these balls up in the air. He's more of a line drive type guy like that one right there. Those are way too high right now. He's trying to force it up in the air. Well, His that one's swing good. does not dictate anything to be hit on the air as much as over 22 degrees in launch angle. What a job of bringing his hands in on that last one. The two gold stars are lit up. And Vlad is now starting to take off some rockets to Mount Rainier. Wait a minute. Halfway up second deck. Moon shots too from Vlad. Yeah, good timeout right there. Boy, everybody seems, I think that's it, Eddie. A buck 30s when they call time. All right, so here's Vladdy. He's got 11. He's got the extra 30 plus the regular 30. There, that type of home run is the one that we are used to seeing Vladimir Guerrero hit on Alinea. Once he does that, it becomes special. Right there, you hear Javier Bracamonte. Let it get to you. Let it get to you. He's coaching him through this. This is a good sign for Mookie Betts, guys. Even though Vladdy does have an extra minute, I believe, more than Mookie. Uh-oh. That one's well over 440. Underneath one, again, bad Vlad sitting there at 15 homers. Power numbers haven't really been there this year when you think about what he's capable of as that one gets over in left field. He didn't come in here with a game plan other than I'm going to hit homers. Why make this complicated? Takes one there. Getting a little fatigued. His, his swing is different than it, what it was in Cleveland. He brings his hands a little bit lower than he did a few years ago. But you see that line drive that went over. That's the type of hitter he is. He's a line drive type guy that just has that wicked ability of being able to whip the bat through the zone. Last He's one fatigued. there in the first round. Yeah, take a little time out. All right, Bo, intrepid reporter, Bo Bichette. Let's see, head over there, see what we got from Vlad. He's got a little time now. He was saying that he, he, he did it once. That's enough. He's having a lot of fun doing it, but he just, yes, he does miss it a little bit. Brad pops that one up. He's got a couple here in his bonus round, which is a minute, and that one is headed deep into the night in left field. There's one even further. That's going to stay fair. But the second deck is majestic. You thought maybe one would get out. We haven't seen one go more than halfway up. Oh, he's fatigued right now. He's lost his bottom half, but he needs to just hit the ball out in front like that. This is all top half right now, and it's looking pretty for Vladdy. Three in a row. But it's just a little extra, like a golf climb. Oh, it just elevates halfway through, and he got into a groove, and he got jammed on that one. This is... He's done. He's checked out. I'm good. Post the number. See what happens. 26. <laughs> Pete Alonso is trying to match Griffey with his third title. That will not happen. He's been eliminated. And Vlad Guerrero, who hit 91 in a runner-up effort in 2019, back at it. 
<laughs> Listen to the crowd. Every time he grounds the ball, the crowd likes to see that. They want Julio to get to the final. Oh, my. <laughs> That's not 440. What is it? Halfway up that second deck for Vlad. That one to left center left the building. He keeps an eye on that. Doesn't get over the wall. Remember, Vladdy did get fatigued mm -mm. in the first round. Will he be able to keep his form during this round? Boy, those are just line shots crawling over that wall. That one's a little further back. There oh. goes another one towards deck number two. He's got the bonus already. And and 20 doesn't feel like it's holding up, Eduardo. No, once he finishes in this round, he might be a concierge key. He is <laughs> letting this one go. Feel good about your teammate? Excuse me? You feel good about your teammate right now? Yeah, I'm feeling good, man. He's, uh, he's special for sure. Okay, so he has both bonuses already, and that's a major advantage that he's going to have over Julio with 12 home runs already. Hit, make that 13. Well, at the very least, this performance here gives the Randy Arozarena fans a reason to believe that he can win this thing. And Vlad's not putting up a massive number. He's going to get to 20 because he's got that bonus. He's got two minutes to get six more. I don't know. He's, he's a little tired right now. I mean, this now is just a lot of focus and a lot of location from John Snyder. This BP thrower slash manager. And I agree with you. Just the time that he has, what is it, another minute, 32, 33? And he knows 17, 30 seconds. I can take a few pitches. Yeah. Get my energy going and then do things to win this. Deep ballpark out where he's going there. And a line shot with a lot of topspin won't get out. Another one that won't get out. You know, I love that he is doing this event because I think he's going to have a monster second half. He's going to find a swing a la Juan Soto did for the last two times he's done these events. He is toasty right now. Got into that one, though. And it goes over the wall. Here's some of the big flies that Vlad hit. Got that extra minute. By the way, the extra minute proves to be really important. He's tied right now with Julio. Yeah, it plays to be a major part of power. And this is, and Buster was the first one to report this one. While we've had father and son combinations, pitcher and hitter, win this derby, Vlad is trying to join his dad, and that would become the only father-son combo to win it in the history of this event. So he needs one, and he's got 50 seconds to do it. Uh-oh. <laughs> no. The first two haven't gone. Don't panic. Here it comes. Oh, he's, now, oh, he's, he's done. <laughs> Exit stage right. Ball gone. That's a walk off for Vlad Guerrero. <laughs> Final is set. It's Vlad Guerrero Jr. who just knocks out Julio Rodriguez. The manager of the Toronto Blue Jays. This just sounds like a wonderful thing to say. The manager of the Toronto Blue Jays throwing pitches to Vlad Guerrero. When he asked him, Vlad said, of course he said yes. They were the combination in 19 when Vlad finished just shy, losing in the finals. And Remember, two minutes in the final round. Just two, not three. Two minutes. You still get that timeout. But right now, those pitches from Snyder are middle away. Needs to bring him in just a bit. That one's going to leave the yard in a hurry. So is that one. Yeah, that's a little higher and a little further. You really probably need the bonus here. And that's where Vlad's got a little bit of an advantage. That one is headed up to that second deck. There goes another one. And he hooks one foul. All right, we're rolling now, though. And I love the cheerleading right now going on by Javier Bracamonte. The catcher, the bullpen catcher from the Astros, letting him know, look, let it get deeper. 
All right, so a minute 13. Right, he's got right. one of those that went 440, trying to buy himself wow. an extra 30 seconds in this two-minute round. That first one he hit, that was a linea. I mean, we're not looking at a lot of launch angle. That's oh. how he hits him. He gets the extra one, the 440. I, th I think it's really difficult to come out and beat him for Randy Rosarena. Well, he's starting to get on a bit of a groove here again by flying those balls to left. Mm, watch out for that one. And another, same spot. And now he's rolling. Still waiting on that second one to travel 440 feet. And he now has that second one. So he's got his 30-second bonus, Eduardo. Yeah, and this, his manager has to love the swing that he's doing right now. John Schneider continues to manage, but he continues to throw BP to him every day during the regular season. Just listen to Bracamone cheering him on. Now that shouldn't go. He knows that though he's got 30 more seconds, he sits on 20. These are Vlad's best swings. Yeah, a lot quieter on this one right here. And you can tell that he is seeing the end near. Quiet early, explosive late, grounded. And when he needed to use the upper body, he can. He is right now gassed with one minute left, trying to regroup a little bit right here. Never thought saw him cheer for another player besides an Astro. Let him get there is what he's saying. Let the ball get there. First 10 seconds, not one ball hit out of the ballpark. Pull. He's telling him to pull. There it is. <laughs> yeah, every time you can hear Rocamonte, he knows when they're leaving. Sounds it, looks it. Keep the rhythm is what he's telling him right now. This is gonna be a challenge for Rosarena. Yeah, but it feels like it's within reach. If he can get that bonus, it feels like it's within reach. Well, he hit 35 with an extra minute because now we shave off a minute from this round. And that's why I think it's gonna be really difficult. But if there's someone up for the challenge, it's the Razor. I like guy. the number for the competition. I think 25 keeps Randy Rosarena right in this. Oh. Popped it up, got to have one. I don't think he did it. He did not do it. Oh my. Brad Guerrero Jr. <laughs> will hang on and win the 2023 T-Mobile Home Run Derby. I think they went a little too quick. And it took away from oh. Rosarena's consistency. Randy Rosarena comes up just short. Congratulations to Vlad. He and his dad, both home run derby champions. There you go. A tweet from Vlad Guerrero Sr. What a performance. Proud of you, son. Oh, Randy is going to look back on that round and think, I had a chance. I was right there, needed four and 30 seconds. And it comes up just short. Just like in Toronto, puts on that jacket. Randy Rosarena just fell short. <laughs> what a sport. He enjoyed it. That's a guy that loves this stage. And look at Vlad. Think it means something to these guys to win this thing? You think it means something? Absolutely it does. He came here to win it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's cool? He's seen it as a son of a major leaguer. He's failed at this event, even though he hit 91 home runs in Cleveland. And this time, he's the champ. After a four-year absence, he comes back and wins it all.